Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And tonight we are trying out one of the nicest looking rooms in all of Las Vegas, Cathedral. It's a new restaurant and we're hoping that the food matches the room. That's right, let's go. Alright, we are on drinks round number two by the time we got to the table. We did wait yeah. for a really good table. We did, it's a really awesome and table. And I would say we definitely got one of the better tables. We yeah. asked for a booth. Um, had to wait a little bit of time. It is Saturday night at 8 p.m. when we had a reservation. Yeah, it's okay. The first drink I got was, um, Josh will throw in a picture, but it, I want to say it was similar to a margarita. It went down very smooth. <laughs> yeah, mine was a simple, um, a light fruity drink that yeah. had um, raspberry pearls, or they call it raspberry caviar at the bottom. Yeah. But check this sucker out. This is out. pretty cool. I cannot remember the name, but honestly, it reminds me of like uh, Arnold Palmer, half iced tea, half lemonade. But it comes in a nice little tea set. Very cute. And I have. It's so proper. Yeah, and I have <laughs> moved on to a just a simple old fashioned. Uh, it's nice. Not as smooth as a smoky one, but you know, it, it does the job. Yeah. Um, and we have a treat for you with our order tonight. You're yeah. not going to want to miss this one. So, they do bring bread to the table. Check that out. It's beautiful looking. But this is the part that I know that I, this is why oh, I had to start salt. talking about it. The coarse salt on the butter. I love that. So, not going to lie, we did not get the most excited off of their appetizer menu. Yeah, now, they was, it was just like a bunch of salads and other stuff we weren't really thrilled about. One of their about. big things is an omelet, and I don't feel like an omelet at 9 o'clock at night. Especially with potato chips on it. I don't yes. care. <laughs> so, we went with some fettuccine, which has black truffles, uh, butter, and pepper on it. You can likely hear the bumping music in here while Josh is... But it is beautiful, and I will tell you, although it's loud, it's not like screaming loud. It looks like a very decent pasta. It's This is delicious. Okay, good. Um, it's very creamy, very buttery. Um, I didn't get a ton of flavor from the truffles yet. You know, if you know me, I'm not the biggest mushroom guy, but... I don't, it's generally flavor, or it's texture for me, it's not flavor. Say, it's usually the texture, so hopefully there, I mean, there's a yeah. lot of troubles on there. Right, no, I, I think it tastes great. It's an easy, great starter, and it'll get us ready for the next stuff. Ah. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> All right, next up, Rachel is going to eat. I don't know what that was about. I don't either. <laughs> but there's a little bit of a show as some girls are walking by in their underwear. I don't know how else to describe it. That pasta is perfectly al dente. You can still have a bounce to it. I don't taste a whole lot of trouble either. And sometimes no. trouble can be so overwhelming. Yeah. I think it's a nice hint of trouble. Again, I didn't get like a shaving of trouble in my bite. And I do taste a little bit of that pepper on there. This is a good starter. Yeah, it's delicious. Plus, I mean, you saw, that was weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to say, too, this was listed under a main, and I personally wouldn't enjoy it as a main dish. No. We actually were talking about that. Like, the fact that it's, I mean, we're, obviously, we, we eat meat, we eat fish. Um, I don't know that I would want to order it as a main. But as an appetizer, which it it's priced at the point of two appetizers, and it really, it for me it works. Which I'm assuming has to do with the truffle. Yeah, I would yeah. assume it's the truffle. But I that, think it works. If as they an took appetizer. the truffle off and charged half the price, I would do that too. Yeah. But I'm gonna 
put this down so I can eat some because Rachel is probably going to eat it eating. all. <laughs> yes. If you're enjoying this video and you want to see more Las Vegas restaurant reviews, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have more than 140 restaurant reviews in Las Vegas alone. Right. Okay, so we ended up with ordering french fries as our side. And after that pasta, I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah. And it is a huge thing of french fries they gave us. Definitely looks hand cut. They do, I'm like, they taste like fresh potatoes. That's yeah. delicious. They look really cool. Yeah. Um, but. I'm here for the lamb. It's got a nice sear on it. I can feel that as I cut through it. Nice. So they do have lamb chops and lamb loin. So we do get both of those with that. I think that's the first time. It's like a true sear. Almost reminds me of a good steak sear. Nice. That's really good. There's supposed to be an olive tamponade on here too that I can't wait to try with it. And some green beans. Yeah, I think this is a green bean. It's like the weirdest green bean I've ever seen. Wow, Josh, I think you're going to be really impressed with those lamb chops with that Good. sear on it. I don't know that we've ever had a lamb chop that has that sear. It's also cooked. Um, I ordered it medium, which is the chef's recommendation. It's very moist and tender. That's a great lamb chop. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, so we do have a lamb loin, and then we got this... Uh, Lobster, I'm gonna put the word down below because I don't know how to say it. Arabiata or something like that. But that's coming next. All right, I am Oh my pulling. gosh, look at that chunk of lobster <laughs> Yes. There. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in. There is a lot of, it's supposed to be like a spicy seasoning. I was gonna say it's Arabita or something like that. And it's supposed yes. to be have a spicy kick to it. I'm, I feel like I'm, yeah, I was like, you're jamming and I feel like I'm yelling. Yeah, we're really bumping to the base tonight. All right, I'm gonna go with the lobster first. The last time we had lobster like this was at Carver's Steak. If you haven't had a chance, go check out that video. And that was a totally different option too. What yeah, about this one? very different. This is really good. Um, you know, you can, lobster, I don't, I don't get a ton of different stuff out of lobster as far as like as long as it's not overdone yeah and um, it's usually the seasoning that adds to it yes mm -hmm. but i really like the sauce like it is a heat is and it good if you've ever watched us you know we like some aggressive seasoning and that is nailing it for me i'm glad to hear that i will tell you these fries that we got they're Are they like good homemade fries i love fresh cut fries so i'm gonna go ahead and try the lamb loin and I will tell you already, once I'm done with this first bite, I bet I'm gonna dip it in this You shouldn't sauce. first. Don't no, do I'm it first. No, I'm not going to do it, I'm yeah. not going to. I love that crispness. Right? It is so good. It's like a good seared steak. It's mm -hmm. so good. Yep, it eats like a seared steak. I, I'm enjoying it. And I think, I think it's gonna be good. Yeah. But I stick around. We do intend to get at least two desserts. And these That's are how some we do it. fancy desserts. Yeah. for your patience, enjoy the rest of your evening. Right, so, table side crepe Suzette. Oh my so, gosh. So, it is like a vanilla creme fraiche with orange. Yeah. Uh, Contro. Which I think is an orange liqueur. I think so too. Oh, that vanilla creme fraiche is so good. You can taste, I think he said orange zest in it. You can taste that hint of orange zest in that too. Yeah, if this you looks delicious. like hints of orange. Is that you dancing to the beat? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me dancing to the music of this crepe. Oh, that's man. delicious. That crepe has a nice chewiness to it that is perfect for a crepe. But it's that orange hint and that fresh cream on top. And of course, it's still warm because he just served or 
we've made it table yeah. side. I think we should go ahead and eat this one first and then we'll make our way over yeah. next door. All right, this is like supposed to be one of the showstoppers. It's lemon, oh, oh something. Oh God, look at how it drizzle out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love lemon desserts. And if this You love matches, lemon desserts, but you just ate the crap out of that Suzette. Oh yeah, that's thing. all gone, by the way. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's yeah, warm. We did we everything but lick the plate on that. Well, so, it's still here. That's true. <laughs> Let's try some lemon dessert. It looks like it could be tart. It's tart, but it's really good. I tried to figure out what this is at the bottom. Is it like shaved ice? It's almost what it looks like. Yeah. Almost like a lemon uh, Italian ice. Oh. Super, super uh, fine. So it melts right in your mouth. I love this. It's kind of like, it, I don't know if this is true or not, but it, it seems like a white chocolate on the outside. Um, a very nice, easy eating mousse. So it wasn't too long ago we were watching Top Chef and they had to make some dishes that looked like one thing and tasted like another. Does yes. this taste like lemon at least? Oh yeah, this tastes like lemon. Okay. Yeah, this is not going for some other taste. Whew. It's tart. It's so tart. Yeah. I think it's fantastic though. But yeah, if you're into lemon desserts, you should definitely get this. If you're into living life <laughs> get the grapes also oh i think you're right i just took a bite i think there is white chocolate on there somewhere all right that was a heck of a meal that was a heck of a meal i hope that the mics picked up really well i hope so too because it <laughs> got loud in there yes it it definitely you know, there's this uh, trend going where a lot of these restaurants are going for like a nightclub vibe. Um, and this is definitely one of them. Yes. But <laughs> the good thing is I feel like the food delivered. Yes. And the service was great. Service was very good. Yeah. Uh, we like the drinks. I don't know how much more to talk about. I, I enjoyed I, it all. I don't think there's anything I didn't enjoy. No. Like I liked every single aspect of it from when we got there. They asked us what we preferred in a table. We did have to wait a little bit longer after yeah. our reservation time, but that <laughs> but, was on us. Yeah, there was, so we were in a booth in the main dining room, which if you want to get that, that's going to be the hardest one to get. The table next to us was same size booth, eight dudes. Yeah. And we had the same size for the two of us. So we were very happy to we'll, have that. We'll it was a it. great table. Yep. Um, but I, I thought all the food was good. I'd do it again. I thought, if anything, the lamb might have been a little bit over, but yes. the flavor was still good and it was still very tender. The, the desserts. desserts were great. <laughs> were I don't. Delicious. It was awesome. It yeah. was expensive. Um, you're gonna see the price tag. It's probably up right now. You know, I I don't know. We we've spent that much money and been disappointed before as well, though. Yep. And, and again, it comes down to all around the service, the ambiance. You really didn't know you were sitting inside of a casino. No. And it's one of my favorite things about how restaurants can do that. You truly are taken to another place. Yeah, and, and I would say that like if we hadn't eaten at Joel Robochon earlier this year, this, this would probably be the, our favorite meal of the year so far. Yeah. We really, really enjoyed it. Um, like I said, hopefully the volume works out for us yes. on the mics. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Yeah.